It's been over 10 months since Algona police officer Kevin Cram was shot and killed while trying to serve an arrest warrant. Aid continues to pour in for his family. KCCI's Ethan Humble takes us to Webster City, where a law Enf enforcement association lent a hand to Cram's loved ones. Briggs Woods Golf Course had a busy day Saturday with nearly 200 golfers gathering in honor of a special man, Kevin Cram. With every swing Saturday came a special showing of support for Kevin Cram. Everybody has been so good to us. The Algona police officer was shot and killed while on duty last year. Officer Cram is survived by his wife, Laura, and three sons. You realize all the things that he did that you didn't know that he did because he just did them and now they're not done. But Saturday was a day to relax. The Hamilton County Peace Officers Association hosted a golf tournament with about 170 players and an auction featuring items like a San Francisco 49ers helmet signed by Brock Purdy. The group is giving all money raised back to Cram and her three boys. It just means a lot to me that all of the people that we have in our association step up to the plate and put this event together. In its 13th year of service, the association has held similar events for 11 other law enforcement, military, or firefighter families facing a tragic loss in the past. Katie Peterson Tolius received $20,000 from the one held for her in 2016. She says she's appreciated the people she's met by going to the tournaments every year since. It's a group of us that you don't ever want to be a part of, but it's a group that you're very thankful to be a part of, if that makes sense. And it's now one of many supports that have gotten crammed through an otherwise difficult time. Even though this horrible thing happened to us, that the state and the community and law enforcement in general has been just amazing to us, and we couldn't have done it without them. In Webster City, Ethan Humble, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Organizers tell KCCI they believe more than $35,000 have been raised so far. Earlier this month, Kyle Rickey was found guilty of first degree murder by a jury in Dickinson County. Rickey went to trial after pleading not guilty to shooting Officer Cram on September 13th, 2023. The jury spent less than an hour deliberating. Rickey faces life in prison. He is scheduled to be sentenced August 21st in Kasuth County.